this tutorial we will discuss about the timers from STM32 F4 series microcontroller we will try to generate the square wave of 1 hertz that is equal to 1 second of delay and we will try to blink an LED connected to port D pin number 12, 13, 14 and 15 on discovery board ok let's begin with that so we are writing the code into the in MDK software first uh, convert first enable the clock of port D on which LEDs are connected change the output for those then uh, we need to set the parameters for 1 hertz waveform that is a 1 second delay using timer so we need to enable the clock of timer then in prescale factor actually the clock system clock is 16 megahertz the dividing factor will be minus 1 to achieve 1 hertz that is equal to 1 second delay 1000 millisecond we need to load ARR is equal to 10,000 so, once the value has been loaded, just clear the counter and start the timer. So, once timer has been started, we are waiting in Y1, know the status register of timer, whether it is successful back or not. So, I have back here, we wait to watch over there, okay. And if it is been reached, means the timing AR has been successfully counted, it will toggle the LED from the port D and toggling code is we are just using output data register and the value has been passed ok so in this way the code is going to execute just rebuild the code download it into the hardware yes and you can observe LEDs are started to blink the same way uh, if you observe uh, the LEDs are connected to which one of the LED I am using to connect to the oscilloscope and I am observing the square wave using oscilloscope. So another device I have connected over here to have a software based oscilloscope. Yes, now you can observe the waveform over here. So you can easily observe the square wave which has been generated using the timer 2 from STM32 ok, I am stopping over here and we will check the time frame yes, so it is exactly 1 second delay generated for the square wave so that is it regarding the square wave timer 2 Esteem, thank you.